Lauren and today I have a drawing meditation for you. This is something that you can do in your home, at the office, in the morning, at nighttime, right before bed, pretty much anywhere, anytime that you need to reset, let go of whatever kind of stressful and distracting thoughts are going on in your life and just sift through all of that and get to a clear state of mind and see what's going on at your core spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. I'll show you what I use, but you can really use any kind of paper that you have on hand and any drawing or writing utensil. You can use any colors that you want or no colors at all. You can even just use a pencil and a paper. You can also go at your own pace with this and draw whatever you want. I will be drawing along with you so you can follow me if that's helpful to you or borrow from what I'm doing or use me as inspiration, but you should really just kind of go with the flow, whatever feels right to you as you're listening to the meditation and going through it on your own level. By the end of the video, I hope that you will leave your drawing with a sense of peace and a little bit more clarity of mind with some more awareness about where you're at mentally and emotionally and what you need to do next in your day in order to feel at peace and productive and happy. So I hope that you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like if you want more meditations and more art tutorials and comment below with any requests for videos that you'd like. And don't forget to subscribe as well and hit the bell to get notifications every time. Thank you. The paper that I'm using today is a Canson sketch pad. It's good for multiple mediums and it's what I had on hand and it suits our purposes just because it's plain white paper. The pens that I'm using are Stapler Fine Liners. I got these at WH Smith in the UK and they come in a variety of colors and aren't too expensive and they're really nice to write with. They have a nice fine tip and pretty vibrant colors. To begin, I invite you to choose a mantra or set an intention for the practice. This should be a single word that you can focus your energy and your thoughts around. I'm choosing the word ease. You might choose another word such as strength, gentleness, peace, or simply love. Begin by outlining your word in some way. This might be through a cloud, a circle, maybe straight lines and a rectangle around the word, something that draws your eye to that word, to your intention. You may choose to embellish this circle or keep it simple. One thing you can do is adding circles, extra lines, overlapping the lines that you've already drawn, maybe bringing in a second color around the word to draw the eye continually to it. You will begin to see that we are building a mandala shape around this word, with the word being the center of the mandala. If you're unfamiliar with the mandala, it's a circular drawing that builds out from inwards, adding layer upon layer until the many shapes that make up the mandala take up more and more of the page and build on each other. Start to build your mandala by adding shapes around the shapes that you have already drawn. This might be half moons, more circles, arrows, squares, leaf shapes. Begin with shapes that feel familiar, natural, and easy for you. You might want to change the pressure of the pencil or pen that you're using, adding thicker or thinner lines to add variation to the drawing. As you continue to build your layers, adding shapes that feel natural and familiar to you and that build smoothly off of the pre-existing shapes, such as leaves upon leaves, circles upon circles, turning half moons into circles, turning circles into arrows, turning arrows into squares, start to think about your intention. What is the word that you've chosen? What does it mean to you? What does it bring up for you when you dwell on it? Was it something that came to mind immediately, 
when I invited you to choose a word? Is it something that's on your mind a lot? Or did it surprise you? Maybe it came from something that you've read, watched, or listened to recently, or something that you've heard from a friend. As your hands work through the drawing, try to let your mind dwell on this word and what feelings come up around it. Is your intention empowering? Is it soothing? Does it excite you? Does it make you happy? Or does it help you to relax? Or maybe some combination of these. As you choose the next layer of shapes in your circle, think about how your shapes reflect the feelings coming through this word. If you're using colors, do the colors you're choosing reflect the word as well? Perhaps your word is fierceness, and the colors that you could choose to complement this might be orange and red. Something that you might want to add to your drawing now is layering in your word a few more times. I've done this by writing E's in a circle many times over. As you're doing this, let your thoughts return to your intention. In what ways does this word serve you? How does it reflect something about you or something that you want to achieve or attain? A wonderful thing to keep in mind about mandalas is that mistakes don't really matter. If your shapes aren't perfectly even, don't let it bother you. Because your drawing is made up of circles, and circles upon circles, and within those circles are shapes with lots of variation and lots of repetition, mistakes don't show up as easily as you might think. As the shapes build on each other, they tend to balance out any problems of proportion or size or line variance that aren't consistent throughout the entire drawing. You'll probably notice in mind that shapes that I draw might be bigger on one side than on the other, but you probably won't notice this by the end. That's why this is one of my favorite things to do as a doodle or a way to de-stress through art. Because perfection is really not something that you have to worry about here. It's a form that allows me to feel like I'm creating something beautiful without overthinking and overstressing about what's going into it. The mandala is also a drawing form that we will return to on this channel and that you can do on your own anytime, anywhere, whenever you need to reset and tap into your creativity on a moment's notice. As you're drawing, it's also worth taking a moment to dwell on your breathing. Allow yourself to take deep, full breaths. If it helps you to have a rhythm for breathing, think about taking a deep breath in for three counts and a long breath out for three counts. We often forget to take the fullest, deepest breaths that our body needs throughout the day. So taking the time now as you're loosening up your creative side and clearing your mind and setting an intention to also allow yourself to breathe will only serve you better for the rest of the day. If you're feeling stuck at all as you continue on with the layers of your drawing, think about the shapes that you've drawn so far. If you've been drawing angular shapes, such as arrows and triangles, consider drawing a triangle that's made up of other shapes, such as circles, or little dashes, or any other stroke.
Something that can be very freeing and help you loosen up in your hand can be drawing curly cues and spirals. These might go all the way around the circle or up and out towards the edges of the paper. If you've added any large shapes to your mandala, consider filling them in with a pattern. Some options are a checkerboard, grid lines, diagonal lines, circles, dashes, or simply filling them in all the way. As we near the end of our time together, something that you can add to your drawing are sentences, if you feel comfortable doing so. These sentences can incorporate your intention in some way. For example, I decided to add statements about my intention. These are the statements that I wrote. I embody ease always. I am at ease. My actions are filled with ease and I can approach life with ease. This can be a final way of focusing your energy on your intention before you leave your drawing, and to solidify what your intention means for you in your everyday life. If you don't feel done yet, I encourage you to continue with your drawing beyond the length of this video. However, if you're out of time now, Finish the final layer of your drawing, closing the circle. When you've put down your pen or pencil, sit back from your drawing and take a moment to admire what you've made. This is a piece of artwork that you might want to hang up over your desk or on the fridge in your house. Something to remind you over the next few days of what your intention is, what it means for you, and of the beauty that you can make in a short amount of time with very few supplies. Thank you for joining me today, and I wish you the best in the rest of your day and in the coming week. I look forward to doing art with you again soon.